John. Let's look at the Word of God, Acts 16, Acts chapter 16. From verse 11 to 14. Acts 16, from verse 11 to 14. You can refer to the material. Acts. Acts, book of Acts, chapter 16, from verse 11 to 14. Let's read the verses together. From Jehovah's we brought the seed and sailed straight for some of the and the next day on Tuesday, from there we traveled to Philippi, and we found a so for Friday, we always gather here uh, for the committee workers training. We have a training material called the EBS Basic Training Guide. When I give the lecture, usually we videotape it and then we send it to the over, over, overseas committee workers. I want you to see that video as well because we have a material, so you can just refer to the material too. <coughs> so today's actually uh, the lecture is Find the Desperate Souls. It's a uh, chapter six. Good. The Desperate Souls. Uh, yeah, finding the desperate soul is evangelism. Finding these desperate souls is evangelism. Uh, so Jesus called the desperate souls for the sure method of a world evangelization. These desperate souls are hidden. So these desperate souls are hidden. That's why the Lord desires to entrust them to sincere and spirit-filled people. So if you are truly a disciple, you will have a meeting of uh, these people. <coughs> if you look at Book of Acts chapter 13 verse 48, those who were appointed for the eternal life, they all believe. It means that the God has prepared those who will receive salvation already. Yeah, God chose them before creation of the world. Yeah, it's written in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 45. They were predestined before the creation of time. It doesn't mean that when you evangelize, you treat them very well and then you give them something nice words. That's why they believe it's not like that. For you, you may think that because you are saved, then you will think that, oh, because I believe, that's why I'm saved. But the Bible says that those who were appointed for the eternal life, they believe. 
그러니까 구원은 하나님의 주권이요. That's why the uh, salvation lies in God's sovereignty. 그러니까 여러분이 하나님이 구원을 주로 잡겠는 자 시간표도 하나님 소리다. Yeah, those who are appointed for the eternal life, even the time schedule for them is it's in God's hand. 그 사람을 구원할 때 구원할 때가 됐을 때 누구의 바퀴냐 그것도 하나님. So when the time schedule come to save the people, you know who uh, will God entrust this work is also up to God. 그렇죠. 그렇죠. 그거 된다 안 된다, 마찬가지로 잘한다 못한다 그말 자체 틀리고. So that's why when you say, oh, evangelism takes place, evangelism doesn't take place, well, it's, uh, it's incorrect words. Why? Because evangelism is totally in its uh, God's hand. Yeah, evangelism is what God does. But the issue is that the God does His work through the disciples or the people. That's why in God's time schedule, who can be used by God? That's the issue. 그래서 여러분이 정말 이렇게 한국까지 와서 우리 받은 우리 당주들인데 하나님이 여러분 나라에 구원 받자 다 준비해. So all of you multi-ethnic disciples, you came to Korea to receive training. I believe that the God has prepared those who will receive salvation through you already. Amen. 하나님이 여러분을 쓰시려고 작정하셨다면, 계획하셨다면, 여러분이 지금 돌아가면 분명히 하나님께 다를 것이. If truly God has planned to use you, then the once you go back to your country, absolutely God will attach people to you. 그렇죠. 바울이 지금 전혀 모를 낯선 지역에. So Paul, he went to this very um, unusual place he never knew before, a city called the Troas. He had a no one he knew. He just went there to pray. He went out actually to pray. Yeah, he went out to pray to, lead, to be led by God's guidance. So in the midst of that, he happened to meet the women on the river. Probably want to do laundry, maybe they gather on the riverside. So since the women gather there, so then Paul went there and then he preached, probably preached the gospel. So a lot of them actually heard the gospel, but the, among them, uh, just one person called the media. So then the one woman called Lydia, actually she heard the gospel and then she opened her heart for the gospel. And then she followed what Paul said. So how much she was prepared by God, you know, she said that uh, with, uh, if you consider me a believer, stay in my house, she said. 하나님이 이런 중요한 한 지역을 살리고 한 나라 살릴 만한 정보를요, 딱 준비했다가 바울을 붙여. So God already prepared one person like Lydia who will save one region and even the family line. So she, God allowed her to meet disciple Paul. 여자가 뭐, 자주 장사. 자주 옷감 비단이야 비단 얼마나 비단을 고급 옷감을 판매한 그런 사업가인데 아무런 말도 없고 내가 정말 죽는지 알거든 우리 집에 들어서 와쇼. Yeah, she was a dealer in purple cloth, but she said to Paul that if you consider me a believer, then stay at my house. 이래 가지고 자기 집에 모셔가지고 모두 숙식을 제공하고요. 그것은 완끝 전달. So she invited Paul and then she uh, provided him all the meals and everything, accommodation, and then she allowed him also preach the gospel there. So this Lydia, actually she received the gospel from uh, from Paul and she also was uh, trained by him. So later on, uh, her house became a regional church in this 
So God has prepared a person like her. 한마디로 갈구하니. So in one word we can say she was a desperate soul. 자, 그러면 여러분이 정말 늘 이거 생각해야 돼. 하나님 분명히 이 복음에 갈구한 자. That's why. That's why when you evangelize, you always have to think that uh, there be a person who is desperate for the gospel. 누군지 이마에 안 쓰라 때 모르지만 그건 하나님 분명히 준비라. Yeah, we don't know who that person is because it's not written on the forehead. That's why, but absolutely, God has prepared that this kind of person you must believe. 그 사람을 만나러 가는 것이고, 그 사람을 찾아가서 세워서 그 사람을 파손시키는 전화기로 가는 거예요. Yeah, you going out to the field to meet a person like this, and then you find the person, you train him, you commission him again to the field. 그러면 갈구한 자 특징입니다. So then, what is the characteristics of the desperate souls? 갈구한 자 특징입니다. You can refer to the materials. In one word, 단번에 은혜의 자리에 응한다. Yeah, the characters. The first characteristic is that they readily come to the place where they can receive grace. 단번에 은혜의 자리에. Yeah, they readily come to the place where where they can receive. 많이 무게가 들리죠. Yeah, it's the example is a person like Lydia. 복음 받지 말자. 막 바로 그냥 모입니다. 됐다면. Yeah, as soon as she received the gospel, she really made a resolution for the sake of the gospel. 말이 말 필요 없어요. 예수님만 증거했는데 그 자녀 은혜 받았어요. You don't have to say much to them, but you only just testify Jesus, but they receive grace. 여러분 사도행 16장 30절. Acts chapter 16 verse 31. 예, 여러분 그 뒤에 보면은 바울이 감옥에서 이렇게 들어가게 돼가지고. 그 간수를 만난 게그 간수가 오게요. 30대분 이르되 주 예수를 믿어라 그리하면 너가 네 죽고 받아요. 그 사람이 주의 말씀을 그 사람 그 이후에 모든 사람이 전하더라. So in the latter part of the Act 16, you can see Paul was in prison and then he also preached the gospel to the warden and then the warden replied that the belief Paul said to the warden, yeah. 간절한 사람이 바울에 일어난 한 역사를 보고요. 우리가 어떻게 구원받겠냐? 아, because this word and actually the jailer he saw the miracle took place for Paul. That's why he asked him, how can you receive salvation? 바울 딴 말에서 주 예수를 믿으라. Yeah, Paul didn't say anything except this. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Then you and your household will be saved. 이 사람이요, 이 간수가 돌아가서 자기 집안 식구 다 모아놓고 그죠? 음도 채우고. Then in this jailer went back his home and then gathered all his family members and then he invited Paul to preach the gospel. 그리고 안 말해. 예수님 믿으라 해도 그 한마디. Paul didn't say anything except this: believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. 자이 사람들은 안 그렇다. 하나님 말씀만 전했는데. You don't need to give them anything else, but the users testify the word of God. 사도행의 8장 35. The referring verse is Book of Acts chapter 8 verse 35. 자, 사도행의 8장은 뭡니까? 35년 엔피아 니시. Book of Acts chapter 8 and verse 35 is about a. 니비 니시 이게? 이 하야서 50장, 53장 읽고 왔는데. 그 말이 뭔지 몰라서 그 바울 이 빌리니 마차를 타고 이 성경 구역 통해서 예수를 증거했는데 이 대시가 예수를 믿고 그것을 맞바로 세례받. This Ed Edipin Yunov was reading the book of Isaiah chapter 52-53, but he didn't understand what that means. That you know, he, uh, Philip was actually went to him and then he explained about uh, these chapters. Then immediately this Yunov received the uh, Gospel, and then he also was baptized. So what I mean is, uh, what kind of person is the desperate soul? So the one who obeys God. Yeah, they rejoice in obeying God. Yeah, 
because these desperate souls, when they receive gospel, they so they are joyful. That's why you know they approach preaching the gospel without any hesitation. Nobody says to them to evangelize, but uh, whoever they meet, they always share this gospel. And also the uh, another characteristic is that they are so positive. They are also clean and simple. They are not complicated. And their heart to accept Jesus is like the good soil. When we say the desperate souls, these kind of people, we call them the desperate souls. Once you go out to the field, when you try to evangelize, then, then you will understand what I mean. So once you preach this gospel, and then you can see the response of these people, then you can tell whether they are desperate or not. Isn't that so? For me, I have two methods. For, uh, I, when I present this gospel, usually I present this gospel to evangelize unbelievers and also to train the disciples. So um, to unbelievers, I present the way of salvation. 지난 주일 오후에 제가 여러분에게 한 얘기를 So last week's afternoon message I spoke about the way of salvation. 불신자에게 그 사람이 맞게 와 성경을 다 가는 게 아니라 결국 그 사람이 그 사람 불신자가 불신자란 말은 하나님을 떠나는 사람. When you preach to unbelievers, then, then you have to tell them according to their condition. Who is unbelievers? Who are separated from God? Yeah. So they are the one, uh, the, uh, the one who must meet God. But they don't know how to meet God. They don't know the way. If they are very <coughs> desperate to find God, then but they don't know the way, then probably they will really try hard to find the way. Yeah, spiritually, if they are very desperate, so they even try to serve idols, worship idols. So keep this in mind, then you can present the gospel to them. 당신이 하나님 만나고 싶으냐 귀신만 가지. This is what I use. You know, I usually tell people to unbelievers, do you want to meet God or do you want to meet uh, the evil spirit? 어, 귀신을 만나고 싶으면 귀신을 만나는 방법을 가지. If you want to meet evil spirit or the demon, then I can tell you the way. 어쩌면 열심히 귀신 우상 숭배하는 사람은 그 귀신을 많이 시켜봐요. Yeah, usually those people who do idol worshiping a lot, then they can experience the evil spirit. Yeah, I can even let you know how you know miserable, how um, dangerous it is meeting Then usually people right away they say that, oh, I want to meet God instead of the evil spirit. So then I tell them the way to meet God. That's why you know I don't tell them anything else except this Christ. I explain the word, the, the meaning of the Christ. And then let them understand the necessity of Christ. So if they are prepared by God, they will know that, that they have a necessity uh, to know about Christ. Yeah, if I explain about the Christ, then they come to an answer by themselves. 
When I present Christ like this, if they accept Christ, then they can receive salvation. But for towards the disciples, I use different way. Different so you just present the way of salvation or explain Christ. It's hard to find Christ of disciples. For disciples, I present them gospel chart. Yeah, when I explain gospel chart, when I look at their responses, then I can tell. So isn't it amazing? And sometimes, you know, you know, I just uh, I'm afraid that the, this message go outside. So even when I went to Taiwan, uh, you know, giving this gospel chart message, I was just afraid that the message go outside and then, you know, they misuse it. <laughs> but I knew that the, but these people in Taiwan, they were in need of this message. Because I even the Tuesday conference, I saw that uh, the gospel child was also used. I, uh, even this time when I went to Remnant Leaders Retreat, uh, the pastor from Hana Church also requested me, Oh, pastor, do you have any video message about the gospel church? Yeah, he's a very renowned pastor in Daegu. Why? He was asking me about the gospel church. Oh, then I explained to him that all oh, gospel church is really, really nothing much. You know, I just uh, created this message to explain the gospel to overseas. <laughs> That's why I asked Sophie, is there any video uh, clip, you know, about this gospel chart? And she found one and then she gave it to him. <laughs> oh, then another pastor requested me, oh, pastor, why don't you go to France and then, you know, relay this gospel chart message to them? <laughs> oh, so that's why, you know, in my heart, I doubted that is it really from God or not, you know. <laughs> pastor Chen Man Su, he's, he told other pastor, you know, it's not enough just to listen to this gospel church message just once you have to listen at least 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> because for him, he heard this message so many times, that's why he told other pastors, you know, what is not enough, you have to hear many times, then you will understand. Yeah, he also said that, that he gathered his community workers in his church and then he gave the message, then all the church members were so pleased with the message. So truly, you have to find the disciples. When you want to find the disciples, you can use gospel chart. Who are the disciples? Disciples are the ones who really respond to the gospel message. So truly, disciples are the ones who are desperate for the gospel. So we have, um, you know, pastors from different countries. So whenever I go to these overseas countries, you know, first of all, I'll give the, the way of salvation first, and then I continue with the gospel chart. So 
So there's a one disciple from Armenia. He's a young man, but every day he draw gospel chart and then he upload it on the chatting room. 이분의 친구들 매일 And the disciples in Indonesia every day they also post it their gospel chart. 그러니까 여러분이 이런 사람을 찾는 것이 전도인데 정말 알아요 그 사람. 뭐 다른 것들은 여러분 복음을 갖다가 아, 우리 말하자면 오직 하나님 나라 그것을 그리스, 그리스의 숙자가 부활, 승천, 재림 이 하나님 나라의 완성을 위해서 모든 것이 그리스의 다 차이인데 그것을 믿는다고 맞다 이게 복음이죠 이 복음을 내가 누리고 죄되겠다 So finding these uh, these kind of people is evangelism, right? So then Paul also he understood that the, um, the cross the cross phase and as the resurrection, ascension, and the second coming phase. So he realized that the, I must enjoy this gospel first and then relate to others. So now is the way to find the desperate souls. If you can, if you can see uh, from the people's forehead, Oh, I am desperate. Then you, you can easily find it. Find 그러니까, it 그러니까, 누구는, 누구는 모르기 but you don't know who they are, right? That's why you know whoever you meet, you must relate. You must preach. So that's why you must uh, testify this gospel, whoever you meet. Oh, 만난 사람 제외도 그 사람이 때가 알수 있거든. 예, 이만도 유 despite this gospel, but that person is not his time schedule yet. 그래서 뭐요? 만날 때마다. That's why every time you meet. 만날 사람마다 제라고 또 만날 때마다. So testify to everyone you meet and testify every time. 그러니까. You meet. 모두에게. 그러니까 뭐 이게 모든 사람이란 게. <laughs> so when we say everybody means uh, it's people all all over the world. 그 지금 우리가 좀 이제 유모사님 지금 삼 이거 삼층 나라지 백년 몇개 나라가 이제 방송을 하고. So Pastor mentioned about two hundred thirty-seven countries, but now at the moment, uh. Over 100 countries are broadcasted of Even we are planning in Ethiopia, we want to utilize the Ethiopian Christian broadcast system. Yeah, because before I heard that uh, somebody knows uh, someone who is related to the broadcasting uh, station, so that's why through even the satellite or the broadcasting system, we want to spread the before when I went to Spain, then I was requested by the people from the broadcast station. They asked me actually um, uh, videotape the message and then to broadcast to the TV or like that. So anyhow, we really had have to let everybody listen to this gospel. 오, or you can use the individual invitation card to invite them. 어, 그러나 이렇게 하더라도 절대 억지로 하면 돼. So even though you do this way, but uh, you shouldn't do it forcefully. 역적으로 하란 말은 정말 하나님의 역시 구원하는 주소이기 때문에 억지로 막 억지로 연결시키지 안 돼요. 하나님이 정말로 예비된 사람이 하나님의 시간을 믿기 때문에 정말로 우리가 하나님의 성경을 받은 사람을 you cannot force people to cannot force people to accept Christ, you know. You have to be spiritual, you know. So usually uh, roughly we can say usually ten percent of people they will accept. Yeah, if you preach the gospel, 
then only 10% of people will accept Christ. For example, if you share the gospel to 100 people, then around 10 people will uh, accept Christ for the gospel. And there is also a case that uh, you really pray hard for the one person and then you preach the gospel, but actually the person uh, next to him, he accepts Christ. We just talked about the characteristics of the desperate souls and the method to find them. Then when you have found these dead, desperate souls, what do you have to do with them? So if they are really prepared by God, they, if they are desperate, then they will accept Christ. So you must help them to accept Christ. Yeah, usually we do it through acceptance prayer. But most of cases, we just end up with just acceptance prayer. But actually, after acceptance is more important. So after acceptance, then the, in full scale, you have to teach them the Bible or the gospel. Yeah, teaching, uh, study Bible or study the gospel, we call it Darabang. So people who have changed their spiritual status, then uh, in full scale you have to teach them the word and then also you must, must nurture them. So the evangelism we are doing in the field is actually is we are doing a word movement. First of all, you have to set the place, you have to set the time, and then continuously you have to spread this word movement. So here, those who are accepted Christ, and then you must nurture them. Oh. And in the midst of nurturing, if, if you see that this person have a commission, then you must train them. So evangelism includes not only acceptance, but uh, uh, training, nurturing, even commissioning, all are included in evangelism. So the important thing, you know, you cannot uh, get caught up in uh, humanistic conditions. Uh, <laughs> So humanistic conditions mean that when you have a darabang or Bible study with the believers, then the, you cannot really force them, um, you know, to, you cannot borrow or lend money or you cannot do some business with them. You shouldn't do that. So I will not mention uh, this person's name, but uh, this person, he borrowed the money, but he couldn't pay back, so he doesn't come to church. So you shouldn't do these kind of things in the Darabang. Yeah, even inside the church, you shouldn't have any dealing with the money or any when you see people inside the church, people who are in need of money, then you can just lend the money, you know, but you cannot, you shouldn't expect that you will have the money back. But 
just out of good heart, you know, just lend lend them the money. 제가 교회 가면 요 하는 말. 절대 나는 오국에는 안 보는다. That's why whenever I go to overseas, I tell them, you know, I cannot give anything except this gospel. 네. 그래서 다른 거 돈을 때 보면 돈 가라. 난 돈을 주는 사람이. Yeah, if you come here for the sake of money, so then you know I cannot give you money. You can just leave our meeting. I I also don't like a lot of gather, a lot of people scattering. My man, oh, you know, they said the thing for me that you call. So, 다른 동기 온 사람 많이 생길 그 경우 처리야. 아무 더 유익이 없어. If there are too many people in the meeting, then you know, if the atmosphere even is not good, and also they have even um. Um, like a bad motive. That's not But I, my intention is only buying the desperate souls. 그래서 우리 다락방 훈련을 여러분 잘못 한국 말 때는요 훈련 받은 돈다 내고 들어요. 알죠? 훈련 받. In new multi-ethnic community workers, you probably don't understand this. But when we receive, for us receive this training, you know, we all pay our uh, training fee. 그러니까 여러분 여러분이 그 오염 안 돼. 우리가 돈다 들여가지고 한국을 도와야죠. 도와하는데 이건 다 도움이 안 돼. So please don't misunderstand. Even for you to come to Korea, usually we pay for the air ticket and all the accommodation fee. But usually for us, when we receive the training, we didn't do that like that way. So please don't misunderstand. 저 남미에 있잖아요. 남미에 사람들이 올 때요. 작년에 올올 수도 있는 80명, 80명. So the people from South America are around eight, not eight, eighty uh, people of that. 그 eighty, eighty of them. Of them. Of them. Of them. Yeah, these eighty people when they come to Korea to receive training, for them, at least for one year, they work hard, so hard to actually accumulate the money. So then, once. Once the money was ready, then they came to Korea and then they received training for three months. And then they <coughs> Think of their hearts, you know, how they were desperate to receive this gospel. That's why even for one year, they didn't mind to gather or to collect money. <coughs> so one week after, you will have the first level camp training. So in order usually for us to receive this first level camp training, uh, 200,000 won is needed. So there was a case that the one assistant pastor in a very countryside church, you know, he didn't have much money. Even his salary wasn't much. That's why every month he, he actually gathered, he uh, saved like a, a 10,000 won per month. So then the two, he saved the, for 20 months and then finally he kept the training. <laughs> That's why, you know, his heart to receive this training, he was so centered because for him, he had to save 20 months, right, for the fee. But he was really, his heart was different from others. Oh, so this is his pastor after training when he went back to his church and then God continuously attached people to him. So then the, his church really completely conquered that region. So if you are thirsty or if you are desperate, you know, you will look for the water, right? Yeah, even Pastor Yugi said that, that you know, if the training takes place on the mountain peak, that even though people will come. Why? Because gospel is on the mountain peak, then, then to listen to the gospel, people will come up. Even you go to, let's say, uh, you know, we go to Newman Island, people will come. 
Yeah, those desperate souls, you know, they will ride on a boat and they will come. Yeah, I'm not saying that you have to do that, but uh, you should understand what I'm saying now. Yeah, if you truly want to find the disciples, then the, these people, they shouldn't have any other motives than the gospel. <laughs> Yeah, if they have uh, they have other motives, then they are not the disciples. We are not God, so that's why we don't know who are the disciples. That's why we really, when we train the people, we have to make them uh, not to have any other motives than the God. I said this to Pastor Amjad when coming to the airport. You know, Pastor Shin said that, oh, I'm not going to help you at all. I will never help you. First of all, we don't have money to help you. Even though I have money, but I will not help you. Because for me, helping you, you know, with the money, I, I think yeah. consider it as a sin. Why? Because gospel is everything. Everything is in the gospel. If I don't give the gospel, I give any uh, different thing, other things, then that's a sin. Yeah, I already have experienced this. That's why I always tell people that I don't give anything. Except the if, but these people all oh, they are also prepared by God absolutely then you know even though I don't give anything but the day will come because of the gospel. If only there is a one person then finding that one person is that's everything. Yeah, I, have been, I have been to many missions fields. Yeah, I say this all the time, you know. The missionaries usually when they go to the mission field and then they usually uh, build the church and then build the, uh, the construct the buildings. But where are all the people who receive the you know but later on, you know, you can see that the, these people, they all, they have taken away their buildings, all the people dispersed, but this missionary, he lost he everything. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, what is, is that a really mission? Yeah, I would say this, say this to people that you know, there will be a day for me uh, not to enter into this country anymore. You know, only I want to really relate this gospel. Gospel must remain even though I don't come here anymore. That's not my intention. Yeah, I don't have any hidden calculations, you know, we shouldn't give any excuses. We are not making disciples, but God has hidden these, these kind of people. Yeah, truly, God has prepared these desperate souls in the field. Finding these people, raising them up, and commissioning them is evangelism. Even though God's work arose, that you know, if that was not done by us, but we shouldn't be arrogant about that. Uh, because everything is in God's hands. Yeah, just running errands for this is uh, you know what we should be thankful for. 
뭐냐 예를 들어 학 어두 현장이 마찬가지다. 근데 그게 분명히 하나님이 예배를 가라는 영을 있다고 생각하시고 그걸 삼기죠. So please uh, keep today's message in mind. So everywhere you know, God has hidden disciples in the field. 그래서 여러분이 아마 올바르게 봉전하고 하나님 시부름 제대로 하셨다면 하는 것. So if you correctly can preach the gospel, if you can run errand of God, then God will attach people to you. 하나님 보다 자꾸 다르지다고 하는데 하나님 어디 붙이고 안 붙이지? But if you are doing something different from the gospel, then how can you God attach people to you? 그래서. 우리 자식이 먼저 이 갈구관 영혼에 그죠? 그래서 하나님 우리를 불렀고 내가 이 복음을 하고 있는 것이 고 내가 어떠니? 여러분 쉽게 이런 사람을 찾을 수 있고 또 만날 때 없이 답을 주시고 Actually we ourselves used to be desperate souls also so then because we, we used to be desperate that's why we can also, can also find the desperate souls 하나님이 여러분 나라에 진짜 올바른 복음을 원하십니다. God truly desires the correct gospel to be related in your country. 그렇죠. Mm -hmm. 그래서 그 복음을 가져가서 전달할 자로 여러분이 한국 보내십니다. So for to restore this correct gospel and relate this gospel, God has called you. 그래서 내가 여러분 뭐 훈련 다 받아 보고 얘기하자. So that's why you know I said that the after finishing all the trainings, we can discuss each other. 어, 뭐 여러분 많이 모이는 건 감도 안 받을 거예요. 왜냐면 여러분 나라 더 많이 모이니까. <laughs> you know, I don't think uh, you will be moved by, you know, a lot of people gathering together because your country can gather even more people. If you want to read the more, you know, 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 So you just uh, join the leaders retreat, you know, don't look at the, a lot of people gather, but uh, see these young kids, young remnants, what? Did they do in the in the training? 그 렘나트의 받는 메시지 보세요. 그 메시지 수준 보세요. So look at the the level of the message they receive. 그만큼 아이들이 당당한 말씀 때문에. Got the message. 그 말씀을 받고 포럼하고 거의 기도하고 그저 그런 거. Yeah, they gather there to receive the message, have forum together and pray to God. 우리 미셸, 우리 셀비 같은 렘나트의 청년인데 여러분이. 잘 보세요. 앞으로 여러분 나라도 이런 랩런트 중에 있는. So Michel and Shandy, you join the leaders retreat. So even in your country, this leaders retreat must arise. 오늘 마치고 우리 같이 기도하시죠. So after the message, we will have a time of prayer together. 여러분 나라를 기도하고 또 정말로 이 복음이 제대로 이 훈련 기간 동안에 여러분 자신이 진짜 하나님의 뭔가 어, 여러분이 남이 지나기 전에 내부터 그자리요 내부터 뭔가 이 답이 어디 되고 내부터 신도 체험이. So during the prayer time, you can pray for your country and also, first of all, you must receive grace from this gospel before you sharing this gospel to anyone. 그런 시간이 되기를 바랍니다. So you have that time. Let's pray. 하나님 감사합니다. Father God, thank you. 이번에 또한 남인족. 이분들이 복음의 갈구한자이분들이 정말로 훈련받고 돌아가서 그 나라에 또 갈구한자를 찾고 세워야 될 사람들이 있어요. So we believe that uh, they are the desperate souls. So for them, first of all, receive this gospel. Once they go back, they will also find the desperate souls through them. 오직 복음에 집중하게 돼. Help, help them to concentrate only on the gospel. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord. And may you protect them through your angels, Lord. Help them not to be deceived by the power of darkness. So may you bless us to do the world evangelization together. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray.